Tina. I'm Ross. And today we're coming to you from a very stormy day. We've been getting a lot of rain and it's kind of cool. So we thought, what a nice day to have some soup. And we picked up some cans of clam chowder a while ago that we wanted to compare. Yes. So the first one I have here is from Boudin Sourdough. And I don't know that, I think that's how we pronounce it here is Boudin, but I always think it should be Boudin. I believe it's a French name. But that's how we pronounce the the bakery here. We do have a restaurant bakery here where we love to get sandwiches, sourdough and a bread bowl. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that they do have a canned soup. So I was very curious to try it. It's not the cheapest. Was it four fifty five dollars That That sounds about right. Yeah, I had a coupon, so I got it mostly taken care of. So I thought this is a good time to give it a try. I know I've had Campbell's clam chowder. I thought it was kind of meh. Yeah. I've had Progresso clam chowder. It, it's all right. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have the highest hopes for canned soup, but we do love it in the restaurant, especially in the bread bowl. Yes. And at Cost Plus World Market, we saw this Bar Harbor brand. Condensed Bar Harbor. Yes. Um, as I mentioned, condensed. And uh, we create our New England clam chowder in small batches. Everyone says that. Uh, <laughs> like people on the Maine coast. Uh, yeah. So Just, that one's from Maine? Yeah. No. Well, that's what it, that's what it says. What it yeah. Says. And this one, you know, Boudin, they have their, their main restaurant, I think, at uh, Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. But interestingly enough, I saw that this soup is part of the Canada. So... There you go. Yeah. Uh, and this is distributed by Bar Harbor, um, Bar Harbor Foods, and located in Maine. Okay. So we're going to heat these up. This one is just a heat and serve. Nothing to add. This one's condensed and it recommended adding some milk and butter in it. So that's what we're going to do. And of course, we're going to serve it with some sourdough bread. Makes everything better. Okay. All right, we're back, and as mentioned, this one is just a heat and serve. Just put it in the can and heat it up. This one's condensed, so I added some milk and some butter to it. Yes. And to do a close-up, you can see one's lighter in color than the other. Yes. This one does seem to be chunkier with more potatoes, at least. Yeah. I'm... I see little pieces of clam yeah, in here as well. Right. I'm Compared to yours... It almost appears that there's smaller pieces of... The of, potato? Yeah. Yeah. It definitely has bigger chunks. And little clam pellets. Clam pellets. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Here we go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a... Uh, this is decent. I don't know if it's as good as what they serve in the restaurant, but as far as canned clam chowders go, I know I've had Campbell's. I can't. Mm -hmm. I may have tried Progresso's too, and those I've been really disappointed in. Like I didn't want to buy them again. I've, I've had plenty of canned clam chowders. Had low expectations, and usually I found them to be on the watery side. Usually more potatoes mm -hmm. than clams, and the potatoes. Uh, yeah, it was just mediocre. Yeah. I think that is typical to get more potatoes in there. Yeah. But, um, and I noticed on the the can, and I did detect that flavor, it said towards the end, smoke flavoring. Mm -hmm. And I do taste a little smokiness to this one. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's any smoky flavor to this. However, I bet your can doesn't say this. Ready? I'm ready. Make a simple and delicious clam chowder pizza. What? Yeah. I'm not making this up. <laughs> Make a pizza with this can of soup, pizza crust, or dough, cheese, and bacon. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming you make it as directed and just slather it on top Use of Use that pizza. as the sauce, okay? Yeah. yeah. It'd be worth a try. May not be bad. Who okay. knows? Had me a bacon? <laughs> what kind of cheese would you pair with this? I don't know. Would mozzarella go with that? I'm uh, not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Did you want to swap and... Love to. Okay, the lady. Here you go. Got it? Got it. And I'm sorry if you're in background noise. We did say it's cold and rainy. We have a storm going on outside. Yeah, and they were saying expect 
a lot of wind and we thought oh, it hasn't been too bad well it's starting to pick up and we might yeah. get 50 mile per hour gusts supposedly so it yeah. might just be starting we're not hearing a few things banging outside right okay I can right. immediately tell a difference in the size of the potato you're right yeah this has smaller potato pieces they're both fairly thick you know of course that one mm. just came that way this one you can adjust the thickness with milk and I'm sure you could with that one too just add a little additional milk yeah. Right away, it's just that smoke, smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. And this is creamier. That one actually has kind of like a texture if you added flour or cornstarch. Yeah, I think I know what you mean, which you know, they might have that in there, I think, to thicken them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the actual soup base itself has more of a texture to it. Yeah. Yeah, I did get some decent sized pieces of clam in here though. I'm also noticing the butter flavor. Yeah. I added that butter in there. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember years ago, my best friend and I were traveling along the Oregon coast and had clam chowder, which of course is always wonderful when you have it right on the coast. Yeah. And that's what they did. They served it and gave us a pat of butter to put on top of it, which I had never done before, but oh, it was delicious. <laughs> Yeah, usually it's good, mm -hmm. except for that one time, that one time. You know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Many moons ago, we went to Apple Hill, famous for their obvious apples, their, their pine trees, their Christmas trees. Nowhere near the ocean, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Up uh, in the hills. Up in the hills, Apple Hill. <clears throat> Our first time there together, and I remember we stopped somewhere, you said you're getting hungry, and it's like, hey, there's a little, little diner place. I remember it was another one of those kind of rainy, drizzly days. And... Much like today. Mm -hmm. And you had a bowl of clam chowder in a bowl, and I think you said later you were feeling a little nauseated. And I can't remember if I felt nauseated. I just remember thinking, this is the worst clam chowder I've ever had. I think it was overly salty, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. Uh... Yeah. I was just very disappointed. It was not good. Yeah. I mean, th these were way better than what I had at that restaurant. Yes, the can ch this clam chowder was actually better than the clam chowder you had in a bowl in that little <laughs> diner in Apple Hill. Yeah. So, okay, of the two, do you have a, a preference? Hmm. I might have to taste again. I mean, actually, I'm feeling like yeah, I'd, I'd stock that in the cupboard again, just as if I was having a craving. Didn't want to go out and buy it somewhere at a restaurant. Both or? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I might want to swap and taste again. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you. And the nice thing is these are both readily available. Yeah. I am really kind of liking that one. I thought the texture of it might kind of be a disappointment for you. Yeah, I feel I do kind of like the texture of this one better, and I do like the big potato chunks in it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like flavor wise, maybe I like that one a little better. Wow, you totally surprised me. Yeah, and it's like now the, the smoke flavor is really prominent now after having that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Either one I think is good. I, they're both, as mentioned before, about four fifty-five dollars a can, so very expensive for a can of soup. Mm -hmm. For sure. Agreed. Yeah. <clears throat> but if you were good to go out, say to Bedeens, and say, and we've seen this, we've gone to Bede to Bedeens, <laughs> or you can't help it. You're you're sitting down. You're eating. You, you look and you see other people dining. See someone having clam chowder and a big ball of sourdough bread. That's my favorite way to have it. F best way to have it. And what do they do? They don't even touch the bread or barely touch the bread. And they just leave it behind. I th the funny thing is you can order just a bowl of clam chowder. You don't have to order it in the bread bowl. So I thought, well, why? Might as well just order the bowl of clam chowder. It's cheaper that way and then you don't waste the whole bowl. Yeah. Some people. Yeah. 
We both love the bowl. The clam chowder soaks into the bread and it has a little top that you can take off because they serve it with a pat of butter and yeah. you can dip it in there. And even when it's gone, you know, a lot of times we'll take the rest home because it is hard to finish the whole thing. Right. But um, you can definitely take it home and chew on it later. Mm -hmm. And something with, they, they also have, what, chili? They can have chili in a bowl? Yeah, I haven't tried that. Yeah. I think either one of us has. So, uh, I'm, I'm sure this is probably uh, would cost less to have it in a can instead of going there and ordering it mm -hmm. in a bowl. Uh, Taste-wise and convenience-wise, I think I'd go with the boudins. But you're you like the boudins? Yeah, okay. I, I like that slightly smoky flavor. The pieces, the solid pieces look larger to mm -hmm. me. Um, I like how it's creamier, but I wouldn't turn this down if it was offered to me. The Bar Harbor. Yeah, yeah I just feel like the potato pieces are bigger. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'd say the clam pieces are any bigger. Okay. They seem kind of similar up with little small chunks of clam. But yeah, I think I'm with you. I I could do either can. Okay. I prefer it over, granted they're cheaper in the grocery store, but sometimes you just think, even though it's cheaper, I would just rather not have it at all. <laughs> right. Um, just a convenience factor. Yeah. But the big question is, would you actually make a clam chowder pizza, Tina? I might give it a try. You would. I think, did I see that it has, you can go to a website, full recipe. Yeah, they have full recipe on their website. So maybe they tell you what kind of cheese to use. Okay. Could be interesting. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was fun. It was fun to try. It was. I've been, you know, every time we stand in line at Boudin Sourdough, mm -hmm. I see these sitting there. I've been yeah. so tempted because I always wonder, is it as good as what they serve in the restaurant? Yeah. Was... Short answer, not exactly, but not a bad substitute. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's... It's not a bad approximation as to what you get in boudins. Yeah. So again, you're saying this is your first pick? I think that's my first pick. Okay. You, you want to swap so you have We your can first... swap again. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to deny you your first pick. Yeah, and especially since if that's your first pick, maybe you'll be finishing that off and I'll finish this one. Okay. Besides their clam chowder, we love their chicken sandwiches. Yes. They do have good sandwiches. We love sourdough. Mm -hmm. We love their program where if you sign up, you get every month, if you go in there, you can get a free loaf of sourdough bread. Yeah. Delicious. The <laughs> funny thing is we used to go to uh, Panera Bread quite often. Another restaurant. Yeah. That serves bread. Yeah, similar in the sense. Yeah. Similar in the sense that they, they have breads, soup, sandwiches, and whatnot, but after trying Boudin, it was kind of like, oh, why, why would you want to go back to Panera? <laughs> you know, better sandwiches, better... Yeah, Panera has more variety, I guess, but yeah, yeah they, they burn me on the French onion soup, and then their prices kind of burn me, too, but for what you get. Yeah. And no free bread. No free bread. <laughs> There's a time that, what, you, you got a, like a cheap bagel, and then when you wanted the, the cream cheese, the cream cheese cost more than the bagel. <laughs> it was like a dollar fifty for this little thing of cream cheese. Yeah. And I think the bagel was only a dollar. Yeah, that, that really burned me too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let us know in the comments if you tried either of these canned soups or another canned soup that you really like. Maybe there's one out there we haven't tried yet that is extra good. We just haven't tried it yet. Yes. So let us know in the comments like food reactions and food tastings be sure to give our video a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know when we publish a new video and until next time bye bye bye